just making um, some bundles of wood from this field maple um, toppings that's come from the small section of hedge only about 10 yards of hedge we've cut these field maple plants out uh, they've mainly been cut up into wood this sort of size um, 12 boxes of it enough to warm our home for two weeks next winter just from this short section of hedge admittedly it was sort of about six years growth yeah we don't cut, obviously cut all the way around all every year um, but these are the top ends of uh, the thinner wood. Now, this has either got to be piled up and um, burned. Yes, you could put it through a chipper, but that would cost a lot of fuel and be very noisy and cost a lot of money to buy a big enough chipper to deal with this. You could hire one, but it's still money. Um, and I'm looking at basic economy here. Uh, there are no thorns in this. So I've got a big pile of thorns over there I was working on earlier, and that's going to have to burn where it is. But this can be made into small bundles of wood, otherwise known as faggots. Yes, I did say faggot. That, these are faggots here, in the traditional term of that word. The only term I would ever use it. Um, so, field, uh, field maple, binder twine, simple knot to make a loop. There you can see that. If you, don't, if you don't know how to tie that knot, don't ask me. It just, it just makes yourself a bit silly. Okay, very simple knot. Uh, not as strong as the figure of eight knot, which has got an extra throw in it, but yeah, we don't need a figure eight knot. Lay it across this extremely useful uh, um, sawhorse and start chopping. I'm using um, secateurs for this. Now, as you'll notice, I'm not wearing gloves. This is field maple. There are no thorns here. And uh, I can't tie knots with, uh, with gloves. Uh, so this is not going to be a real problem. Now I'm cutting this to a precise length, well, within an inch or so, uh, based on which I've measured out. That's the right length of it. The point of my knife down there is about the right. I'm not, about, I'm not going to measure that off. Uh, I could, I suppose, draw a line on it with a China graph pencil, but I can't be bothered. Uh, this is um, this bundle of wood is going to be to approximately the uh, correct size, just under the correct size, to fit in to our wood burning stove at home. Now, as I said before, you might think this is a lot of effort for me to go to. It's my time. <laughs> I need the exercise. And, uh, you know, I quite like doing jobs like this. Is that right? No. A little bit too long. The, uh, Falcon number eight secateurs as usual. Uh, the only ones I use. Um, a lot of money. These are quite expensive secateurs. So most of the tools I use tend to be sort of quite expensive. Um, a little trick there: you can, if you've got a thick bit, you can just put a bit of pressure on it like that. Pull the wood into the knife. Pull the wood into the edge. It, it splits. You can cut thicker. Um, would easier with that little twist. Uh, yeah, I, I, I lost these, or at least I couldn't find them, and it was so annoyed, I thought, oh, blow it. Um, uh, you know, you, you have to have the best tools, because otherwise you wear your wrists out quicker, and, and you don't have the time. So I bought another pair, another 46 pounds I paid for them. <laughs> anyway, I then found the ones I'd lost, uh, uh, and they weren't lost, they were in my bicycle bag. And, um, anyway, you look at these, do they look very well worn? I've pruned through this orchard. I mean, there are currently about 600 trees in the orchard. At one stage, there were a thousand trees. I've used these as my only secateurs to prune this orchard for several years. Do they look anywhere near worn out? I ask you. I, I tried doing this with a cheap pair of secateurs once and they, they broke on me when I put some pressure on them. Uh, these are expensive, uh, made in Switzerland. Uh, but, you know, they are the best that you can get, so uh, um, they're what I always use. And it's the only tool I need for this job. Are we nearly there? There's a mixture here of um, thicker and thinner woods. The idea is that these, um, these bundles will um, uh, dry out and they'll have a mixture in them of uh, slightly thicker wood. Uh, you know, half an inch or so, and some very thin wood, um, which should act as very nice kindling. So what I'm aiming to do, uh, once these have been stacked and dried, 
literally cut and dried, uh, then um, they'll be put into you know a little bit of, new, of crumbled newspaper. Will go into our wood burning stove. This will be laid on top, and uh, then uh, uh, some a match will be applied. I should think it'll burn very nicely. As I say this is field maple, which is a typical hedgerow plant. Very dense wood it makes. All right, now you see what we were doing here. There's your loop. There's your bundle of wood. String through the loop. Pull it around there. Tighten it up a little bit. Reasonably tight. Around here. Occasionally you get a little bit of wood in the way. You might need to use secateurs or fiddle around a bit with it, but yeah, it's okay. The thumb, the thing is just hold that right pull that tight put it around once more pull that tight you know with a pen knife any knife will do it's an open number 12 very useful knife my biggest open all right there we are one faggot yeah i think that'll be sturdy enough Add this to the growing pile of faggots. Um, that won't be uh, left there, obviously. That'll be stored somewhere above ground level to let the wind through. Um, it's quite possible that uh, the, the, the binding may become a little bit loose so, as the wood dries out, but probably not by very much. There's a bit of natural, there will still be a bit of natural springiness. So, basically, one of those will get one fire going. Um, so, I reckon I'm probably going to get about 40 um, bundles of wood this size uh, out of uh, probably about 40 bundles of wood this size um, out of this 10-yard section of uh, field maple. Uh, nice renewable stuff and. Uh, um, okay, there might be quicker ways of doing this, but uh, I think this is probably the most economical way. And if, like me, you're a bit overweight, watch too much uh, YouTube video, don't do enough exercise, uh, and you're fond of beer, and, you know, this is a good bit of exercise to be doing instead of, um, you know, sitting and doing another um, session on the tube.